Okay, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, small video. Uh, this one is gonna be about using Huffman coding and incorporate that into your uh, a project. Lately, I have been too busy and wasn't able to pause database tutorials or do any updates. Uh, so I've been working on something related to my study and I thought I would uh, post this uh, code since others might find it useful so if you want to do some compression in your program you can use this one but this is pretty generic so you might want to improve it a little bit so in order to do Huffman coding all you have to do is uh, right click your project select add and uh, choose existing item now the window appears uh, you will have to just select the file called halfmancoding.vb and uh, add that now as soon as you get this one you will be able to do compression and decompression so how do you use that so I am gonna do the following let's select an open file dialog okay this will allow me to select a file and then um, I'm gonna select this button and call it compress okay and create another button and call it decompress decompress now uh, for the compression part uh, I will open the file so open file dialog 1 dot uh, show dialog uh, dimension l as long equal file system dot file len and open file dialog one dot file name okay so this part is gonna get me the length of the file i'm gonna create a byte array dimension b zero to l minus one and uh, this should be as byte next i'm gonna read the file file system dot file open one binar uh, one open wait a minute so open file dialog one file name and it should be binary okay and it should be read so this is how you do it now we open the file file system dot file get and we are gonna read the whole content file system dot file close one so now we got a byte array to compress this file dimension cmp for, com for compressed data as byte equal halfman coding dot compress byte array and all i am gonna do is pass b uh, keep in mind that the array will be compressed uh, and, and the processed in its full size sometimes uh, and this will not yield good results in compression you might want to uh, create chunks of that and process them one at a time anyway so we compress the file let's save that so file system dot uh, file file open one uh, open file dialog one dot file name now I'm gonna change this and add to it an extension dot cmp it's just a generic thing uh, and should be binary uh, access right okay and now uh, file system dot file put one and we are gonna put cmp into the disk file system dot file close one okay so this is the code that allows me to compress the data so let's run this okay so I press compress I will go to the desktop I have Lina image here which is about 65 kilobyte and select open and now it's compressed if I check the disk okay this is the Lina file okay uh, you'll find that it's not compressing that well but it made it a little bit smaller about uh, 3 or 4 K KB 3.5 kilobyte difference anyway for other types of document it could be better anyway 
So let's go to the next stage, which is extracting, how to extract that. The code is going to be very similar, actually. So go to the decompression part, and it, it is going to be something like this. Uh, we are going to open the file, we are going to read that, and instead of compress byte array, it will be decompress byte array. So I am I am going to put the extension dot bmp. Of course, if you are compressing a file, you must uh, make sure that uh, you, you store the name of the file and extension and stuff like that. Okay, so let's run this. Uh, I'm going to select decompress. This time I'm going to select the .cmp file, which is this one, and open that. And after a few seconds, it's a little bit slow. The implementation is not that good, but anyway. So let's check this out. And as you can see, this is the file .bmp.cmp.bmp, which is Lina image. If we open that, we can see uh, Lina image correctly extracted. Uh, so basically this is how you add the Huffman coding uh, technique to your code. The uh, Keep in mind that this is not a very efficient code, uh, just uh, to make things a little bit easier for you guys. Okay, so if you want to modify the code, you are going to find in this module, double click the module, you are going to find a number of things. Uh, you will find the bits array and this is a class that will allow me to, to add bit by bit uh, the values bit by bit into my array so you can modify this uh, you might find it useful okay uh, you will find the tree nodes data structure uh, the probabilities if, if you know the how the algorithm works uh, okay and so on symbol codes storing the tree into the bit array and loading the tree from the bit array and the important part is the compressed data so this is how the compressed data works you might want to modify that and uh, the other one is decompressed data and this is its, its code so uh, you can find the Huffman coding file uh, on the website uh, if you have any notes uh, or any questions, uh, send them to me. I'll be happy uh, to answer them. And I uh, hope you'll find this useful. That's all. Thank you and have a nice day.